What's up YouTube, it's Matt Wick here. Uh, today I'm just going to make a quick video about answering all my common questions I get uh, in my comment box or through down personal messaging on YouTube through down. Yeah. Uh, so, or, yeah, so I got a lot of uh, questions uh, that I get over and over which are basically general questions so I'm just going to answer them on this video so yeah. Uh, I'm doing this right now because before I didn't have that much subscribers so I didn't need to do it like a video about it but I thought this would be great so some of you guys know extra information uh, about all the questions you uh, ask so first off well, what is the um, app I use for recording my screen so that is a uh, question I get a lot most of you probably already know the answer but anyways uh, it is ScreenFlow screen flow right here so it's really awesome app this is not the official icon I just messed up the icon there but um, screen flow is the app I use for recording my screen uh, in about all my videos so screen flow is really good uh, there's a new screen flow coming out very soon screen flow 2.0 and if you purchase it before it comes out you'll get free upgrade to screen flow 2.0 and as well a free copy of flip for mac studio so this is just a temporary uh, deal or whatever so yeah I just wanted to point it out <laughs> um, so if you want to get screen flow do it now because it's the best moment so then the second question as well is how do I edit all my videos well exactly the same it's as well screen flow uh, you record and you edit with screen flow it does both um, so yeah third question how do I get the red circle around my cursor when I click so as you can see right here if I click you're gonna see the red circle around my uh, mouse so this I don't see it myself on my screen but uh, it's only after in screen flow that you can put that option on so there's also in screen flow under uh, screen recording effects and then um, mouse cursor or something like that and then or mouse uh, clicking effect I think and then it's radar it's called so yeah uh, so then, why do I always have my curtains closed in videos? So right now I can put them open. I can open them. So uh, it's a good question because I, I do get that that question quite a lot. Why do I always have my curtains uh, closed? Sorry, uh, in my videos, it's because um, basically uh, during the day, um, if I don't, if I don't close them, basically you have a huge contrast or huge brightness coming from here and then my face looks very dark and like it's no light at all and it doesn't look nice at all because you don't even see me uh, but right now I could put them open since it's night so it's a uh, uh, there's no light coming from there now but I just always put them I always close them in my videos that's yeah I'm just used to it because of the light and the reflection and everything you can see through there so that's why I always close my curtains uh, so then a few quick questions here about customizing uh, customizing so um, basically a lot of questions I get how do I change all my icons for example these these so uh, videos uh, for that is coming up soon so about icons I already made the one for menu bar uh, uh, just this week I think I posted it um, and I will also make it on stacks so how to get these stacks uh, so I'll put a video about that as well and I will also put a video about where to get all icons and yeah I think that's about it uh, icons dock I did oh yeah I also have a video about the dock I already made it but I didn't edit it uh, edit it so I'll do that soon uh, so yeah then another question I get a lot is my YouTube layout how do I how did I make it oops um, so basically this is my YouTube channel you can see if you zoom out if you have a bigger resolution because right now it's quite a low resolution you, you're gonna see it quite bigger here like this and a lot of people ask me how to do this um, this layout I've got so I'm just gonna show you view background image and this is my layout so basically uh, how you do this is first of all you need a template so if you need you can personal message me uh, I'll give it to you uh, so basically it's a template and it shows you all, all the borders and all the measures are already made and then basically you create in Photoshop you create all around it your layout and everything so that's how I do my YouTube layout uh, so oh yeah how do I make my intros as well big question so my intro was made in Adobe After Effects I did not make the whole thing uh, I do not always use my uh, intro 
because sometimes my videos are too long and I can't put it in there. But it was a template of Adobe After Effects. It's a paid template, so I cannot give it out for free. And basically, you just replace. So you can basically it's a template, so you can put uh, your own text uh, placeholders, and you can change the colors and everything. And if you're a little advanced, you can change yeah about everything, background and all that stuff. So that's quite cool. That's how I did it. Uh, how did I get my videos in HD? It's also a question I get quite often. Basically, uh, I use ScreenFlow to export my videos. Um, it's really super simple. Uh, basically, you need to go to export and then put uh, in 1280 by 720. So to get 720p, which is HD for YouTube. And you'll probably see the image scrolling up here on the screen. Uh, so basically, you put your settings, you put to... Uh, compressing mode you put into H.264 and then you want let me think oh yeah you want to put uh, the quality to best and then uh, frame keyframe uh, keyframe you put it to automatic keyframe rating and then um, you put yeah that's about it and then you go to the size and you put that to uh, 1280 by 720 16 by 9 uh, HD probably and then and the sound you want to at least have a 92 bit rate uh, ACC format AAC I'm sorry uh, and yeah and that's about it so yeah and then you get your videos in HD so that's how you do it you probably saw the pictures another uh, question I get a lot is uh, are you gonna get partnered uh, am I gonna get partnered that's quite a good question um, well actually I'm not yet because I am able to, uh, well, if I if partnership would be available for me, uh, I would probably be already. But basically, I live in the Netherlands, so I cannot. Uh, partnership does not work here yet. So I hope it will come soon, and I will apply as soon as it comes to the Netherlands. So yeah. Uh, also, what I get a lot in my videos, uh, if I show uh, if I show how to do something in my videos, uh, some people comment saying. Uh, it doesn't work or something like that so I cannot do anything about those comments I mean you have to give me more specifications uh, I most likely remove these comments because other people is gonna say oh what well, for him it doesn't work so why would it work for me you know and I cannot help you if you say it doesn't work uh, you need I need more information and all that stuff so yeah uh, okay then my nationality and where do I come from I do get that question sometimes so basically I'm half French and half Dutch uh, Netherlands, so not German, uh, and uh, I've lived in the Netherlands all my life, so I've been born here, uh, and I grew up here, so yeah, that's for the nationality. So I think that's about all the questions uh, you guys ask me. If you have any other questions, just comment below. If it's more specific questions, I think I answered about all common ones, I hope. So yeah, so that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, rate five stars, comments, and yeah, all that stuff, you know. So uh, probably all links will be in the description. I have no idea what four links I'm going to put in the description, though. Uh, I have to think of something. Mm. Well, I'll see. Oh yeah, probably the YouTube template. Uh, I'll probably put it in the description so you don't need to PM me. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I already said all that, so yeah, peace.